USA versus Jordan. Welcome to the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Win for all. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Manila, the Philippines. This is the FIBA Basketball Let's World Cup, and we are going to watch USA against Jordan here in Group C, game day three. Well, Jordan will not be progressing to the second round, but don't think for a minute that that does not that that means that they have not had a great World Cup. They have. They have been solid. We've been impressed by their performances against Greece and especially against New Zealand, the comeback that took them to overtime and arguably the shot of this uh, FIBA Basketball World Cup from Rondé Hollis Jefferson, a four-point play with 10 seconds remaining. They want to get something out of this game. They want to play well against USA. And, you know, maybe, just maybe, as they go into the classification games, uh, obviously get a win or two to keep their Olympic dreams alive of making it to the Olympics. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. Mike, sometimes, you know, you're, you're, you have to look at success in different ways. Without a doubt. And this Jordan team has really impressed everyone with the way they played, uh, the, you know, their performances, as you've mentioned in these games. They've played with great heart. They've played with great spirit and will. And I think for these guys, it's a great moment because now they're on the main stage. You know, these guys are professionals. They've played in different places, kind of outside of the mainstream. And now you're facing the NBA players in the United States. And let's see how they can take that challenge today. Number four, Tyrese Well, when it comes to the USA, they're unbeaten. That's no surprise. New Zealand gave them a really good game. Uh, probably for the first half and uh, five minutes into the second quarter. And they, they really battled until the end. USA eventually their class told as they pulled away for 27 point win. But USA strong against Greece as well. Greece started well against the Americans. Uh, but the talent, the length uh, in this team and the looks like the focus looks to be right for Steve Kerr's team. And they've had two impressive performances, the depth the athleticism, the versatility, many, many positives here. But for the USA today, it's not just about the result. It's about the performance. So again, staying within the system, playing together, maximizing the minutes here. You know, this is what they want to continue is the, the positive direction, the great start. You know, they only have a few games to prepare until these really important games down the road in the tournament. So they need to use every possession. They need to use every opportunity to grow and develop. I really hope they can play with great focus here today and take care of business. So we've got USA Jordan tipping off uh, shortly. We've got Greece against New Zealand. They will battle for that second spot uh, for the second round. The team that wins that game will remain in the hunt uh, for the world title, but more importantly, just staying alive in this World Cup. USA up at the top at 2-0. Greece and New Zealand follow 1-1, and Jordan are 0-2. Uh, but yet, in my opinion, they have played a heck of a lot better this year than they did last year when they played at the FIBA Asia Cup and They're finished fourth. No question. Different level of competition. Anyway, we're going to have uh, Paul's in the commentary for the playing of the national anthems.
please remain standing for the national anthem of USA. Okay, the national anthems have been played, and we are just under seven minutes away from the opening tip of what promises to be an entertaining game today. It's fantastic to see teams competing from different parts of the world. This is going to be a great day for Jordan basketball, no matter what happens, I think. You look at Takaki Kato. He's the crew chief for this game from Japan. Christian Pais from Ecuador and Peter Prox from Hungary on the left. And we are now going to look at the starting fives for both of these teams. And when you look at Ahmed al Dwyer, you just immediately think of, wow, how well has he played? He's been outstanding in the middle for this Jordan team. Again, old school throwback center, uses his body well, great touch. And as we've talked about matchups here, it'll be a great chance for him to go up against Jaron Jackson Jr., one of the premier defensive big men in the NBA. Great challenge for Dwari. Al Dwari is very an intelligent, I'd say more than anything, an intelligent basketball player. So he's going to. He's going to try to figure out a way to have some success and to impact this game. So we'll look at the starting five for Jordan. And, ah, I mean, Abu Hawash checks in the starting five today. Freddie Ibrahim, Sammy Buzai, Rondé Hollis-Jefferson, and Ahmed al Dwari. So al Harbashe, Hamouri, Hussein, uh, both Abbas and Zed Abbas, including the captain, Kanan, and al Najdawi coming off the bench. So I guess... Perimeter shooting, whatever. I was Rondi Hollis Jefferson, just a game for the ages the other day. He was fantastic against New Zealand, scoring and leadership. Again, you see there 39 points, the most ever from an Asian player. For me, the the way he did it with the big shots at the end of the game, amazing. And let's see how he plays against these guys he's played in years past. And you got Ahmed al Dwyer, the 19 points, the 10 rebounds, the three assists. He just plays with so much poise, control, yet finesse, power. You know, and it's, I'm curious, you know, how is that all going to add up against incredible athleticism today and the experience of Jackson? But some al who used to play for Jordan, played when they qualified for the first World Cup, and he played in Turkey. The, the 2010 FIBA Basketball World Cup, back in the day when Kevin Durant was the MVP for the USA and really had his, like, started chartering his course, in my opinion, as the greatest ever USA player, Durant, uh, for that performance and some of those that have followed at the Olympics. And for the USA, all newcomers to the senior team, obviously Jalen Brunson, Walker Kessler, Tyrese Halliburton, and Jackson, they all played for USA youth teams and won titles. Uh, but this has been a new experience. Mikhail Bridges, the birthday boy, comes out. He's in the starting five. Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Jaron Jackson Jr. in the starting five. Halliburton, Johnson, Ingram, Banquero, Portis, Kessler, and Reeves coming off the bench. And we were hugely impressed by Hart in the last game. 
I mean, he was outstanding. Jalen Brunson just brings it every game. You can see what he did in the last game. Jalen Brunson, the captain, great leader, floor general for this team, making plays, both ends. Again, you have trust with Jalen Brunson on the floor when you're USA. And Austin Reeves, who had 15, five and six in the last game against Greece, those dazzling plays. He's a walking highlight reel. And he was also the player of the game. He was actually plus 23 efficiency in that last game. One more than Hart, who really set the tone for the victory, you felt. And there you got Steve Carr, the head coach of the USA. Yeah, Coach Kerr has done a great job. What's interesting about this lineup, they obviously respect Grande Hollis Jefferson, so they put Josh Hart, their hardworking blue collar uh, team player, who's done a lot of dirty work. Expect him to match up with Hollis Jefferson here in the lineup change, replacing Brandon Ingram in that starting lineup. But I also like what Wasam is doing with Jordan. The backcourt was the backcourt that made the run against New Zealand. Again, you know, it was Freddie Ibrahim, it was Abu Hawass, and it was Bazai. Those three guys finished the game really strong, and he's trying to put his best lineup out there tonight against this elite USA team. Probably gives them a little more quickness, and Zed Abbas, the captain who's playing in his last FIBA Basketball World Cup, will be coming off the bench. Guys, one, one change. One change of what we did to inside. We are uh, switching one to four because they're not starting Ingram. Okay? They're starting with Josh Hart. So one to four, we are switching. One to four, we're switching. Ready? You got you got Ronson, okay? You got Ronson. And Sammy, you got number five. Okay? I mean, you got Josh Hart, box out. You got Edwards. Okay, and you got Jackson Jr. Well, a lot of Fili Filipinos uh, love the NBA. They love Austin Reeves. They love the Los Angeles Lakers. <laughs> Every single time his name is called, there is a huge applause. They love basketball here. One of the great things you love it. It's a, it's a fantastic place to host the World Cup, a tournament like this, the passion for the game. And as we've seen, Austin Reeves, he's a one-man momentum builder. He's a one-man momentum swing. Both coaches emphasizing their teams to get off to a great start. Both Abu Hawass and you got Sammy Bazai out there, obviously with strong connections to America from Bazai from Arizona. Abu Hawass is from Houston. And we are underway, folks. Welcome here to Manila, the Philippines. We're underway. USA against Jordan. Final game for these two teams in Group C. USA going through to the second round, and Bridges, who just is uh, celebrating his birthday today, gets the tap in. They call an inside play, floppy punch to start. They get the ball off the screen down, put it into post. Nice offensive rebounding tip in for Bridges. So Freddie Ibrahim actually born in Canada, but they're all Jordan connections and traveling on Al Dwari. 
So Alduari has been outstanding in the low post, but this is a different situation. You know, the size, the length, the athleticism of Jaron Jackson. He's got to get used to that and be as efficient as he can be. Same play here for Team USA into the post. And Alduari gets the foul called for uh, his defense on Jackson. You like the game plan from Coach Kerr and the United States coaching staff trying to go right at a key part of this Jordan team, Alduari. Make him guard one on one. Let's see if Coach Wassam from Jordan chooses to double the low post. So Jackson, one of the enforcers in this team, and he's not shy about putting it up from deep as well. You know, we've seen the lineup with Vancaro really be effective, but this is a really opportunity for Jaron Jackson Jr. to play against a traditional true five. He's off to a really good start. Sammy Bazai hands it off to Freddie Ibrahim. He puts it up. And there's Alduari battling away, but Anthony Edwards comes down with the basketball. And Alduari gets the block. So there's a positive stat for Al Dwari. Abu Hawash travels. We've seen several travels on the United States throughout the first two games. So again, Abu Hawash just tries to get to the rim quickly. Travel. Brunson banks in the layup. There's the USA coaching staff. Coach Spo, as they like to call Spoistra, sitting beside Kerr. And the block from Jackson. Beautiful pass. And the foul called. Is it on Hollis Jefferson or Al Dwyer? If it's Al Dwyer, it's his second. It is on Hollis Jefferson. This is a beautiful ball ahead from Brunson. Now, at the other end of the floor, Jaron Jackson Jr. blocks the shot and does a fantastic rim run, which means he runs right down the middle of the floor to the front of the basket, got position, draws the foul for the end one. So it's great to be able to go down to the huddle to listen to these teams. And we're going to now hear from Jordan. Switch. Seal. Okay. Seal. 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 Defensively, we need to get back quicker. Like this one, we can steal it. Come on, just play. Be aggressive, guys. Forget it. Forget it. We are playing. Just play. Play. This is a basketball game. No matter what, it's a basketball game. Come on, keep playing hard. Keep pushing through. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, put the basketball. Let's go. One, two, three. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with confidence. Let's go. Well, what do you think, Mike? It's a rough start, not entirely unexpected for Jordan, but. I think that this is expected, and I think Wassam did a great job in that timeout saying, hey, guys, you've got to keep playing. It's just a basketball game. Focus on the fundamentals, focus on the system, and keep competing. Well, don't expect the USA to lay over for anybody or to ease up on anybody, rather. This is the World Cup. They need to come out and give it their best. And Hollis Jefferson fouled as he puts it up from behind by Edwards. Looked like he got fouled before that. One guy that will not back down is Rondé Hollis Jefferson, who has played over 300 NBA games in his career. This is normal for him. He now has a great role with responsibility as a team leader. Edwards gets caught behind in the pick and roll coverage and again that's a great sign for Hollis Jefferson to start with his first bucket. So the first bucket for Hollis Jefferson he had 39 against New Zealand. 
Yeah, Brunson just scores an easy one in the lane. He's calculating in the pick and roll. He's so under control. And Jeff, that was a left-handed finish. Now Hart called for a foul, chasing from behind. We've talked before about smart pressure. We don't want to gamble or reach or take ourselves out of position in the front court. Hollis Jefferson spins, puts it up. And Al Dwari knocks it away, but Anthony Edwards there to pick up the basketball. Anthony Edwards hits the three. 13 to two USA, almost three minutes into the game. Now Ibrahim turns it over at midcourt, and Edwards, the so dunk. Jeff, that's such an unselfish play from Bridges. He saw Edwards running the lane and just fed him for an easy dunk. Really great team play, encouraging the rest of this United States squad. And off, good play, Ibrahim. And that is evidence of just how difficult this is going to be, even in that low post for Al Dwari, where he wants to be and patient. He gets it blocked. Here's Hart into the corner. Mikhail Bridges. And there's Edwards with the follow. And again, they just do not let up. Bridges hustling Al Dwari. Fortunately, he has the ball fall to Je Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson with a little turnaround. Again, really under control. Backs it down into a post up. Great fadeaway. And he comes up, almost gets a steal, Hollis Jefferson. And this is what Jordan needs. They need Hollis Jefferson to hit some shots to inspire some confidence. For the United States, you want to see the team stay within the system. We've had some great extra passes from Hart and Bridges in the early going. Mikhail Bridges fades a little. Hollis Jefferson again gets loose. And Al Dwari shot a little bit too hard there. Oh boy, so quick. Here he is, Jackson, we told you about it. He's not gonna be shy. But I suppose if you're Jordan, you'd rather him be out there than under the basket. Ibrahim. Open shot from the elbow. You got to think he's going to make that. And that ball turns back over. Nope, it's going to be USA basketball. Jaron Jackson Jr. is working really hard in transition, sprinted the floor into that low post possession. Now, I want to say, right now, the United States is not playing with the same pace in transition. They can attack so much harder and sharper the last two games. Oh, my goodness. What a move for Ant-Man. And then he goes down hard, and the reach and the foul is going to put him on the line for a three-point play. Sliding between defenders, goes down hard, but finishes. Again, that's tremendous. But if you're the coaching staff, you want to play to your potential, play up to your standard. And we've seen against New Zealand and Greece, the USA was outstanding with their pace of play in transition. They're just a, a little bit below that pace right now. They can pick it up. 18 to four. In command, the USA here already. Bridges guarded closely by Bridges. I mean, excuse me, Bridges guarding Freddy closely. Here's a little runner, much better, but still doesn't make the shot. That's his to make. Edwards goes up and scores again. Just incredible. The change of speeds, finding the seam, and then the ability and athleticism to finish. Hollis Jefferson. Good defense from Bridges on consecutive possessions. Hashem Abbas is going to come into the game. Oh, 
Pujols catches it, but it's closely guarded. And again, Bridges knocks it away, and Abu Hawass commits the foul. So Banquero, Ingram, Austin Reeves coming into the game. Hawass goes out, Cannon is going to come into the game. And you can see, oh, the, what a surprise, a Laker fan here taking a photo of Reeves. Wearing his jersey. I should be taking photos of Bridges because A, this is birthday, B, he was outstanding while he was on the court. Fantastic defense, really active, making extra plays, extra passes, really good start. But here's the smaller lineup with Bencaro at the five. They've switched. Let's see if they have the same game plan against the true five, Alduari. You know, Brunson's pass led Ingram just a little bit too much. It's a good idea, but again, you know, Ingram is talking about, hey, I want to get myself going. I need to, you know, and try to find my rhythm in this team. But he's got to be more physical. This is a physical game out here. You see he got banged up. He's got to play through that contact, and then he'll get some easy baskets for himself. And there's El Duari finally gets his first two. So again, what's interesting now, Vaccaro usually is the switch. Now he's got real pick and roll coverage against the five. Let's see how this progresses throughout the next few possessions. Anthony Edwards. <laughs> All you can do is just hope that he misses because he's going to get his shot. and a foul, Brunson. This is Edwards, they're sitting back in his zone, so he puts it up and in. 23 to six, 17 point lead. Cam Johnson now gets the assignment on Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson short. Alduari able to knock it out to the perimeter. Hashem Abbas drives in, scores with the left hand. Really nice finish, but in those closeouts, you want to try to tip, not let him get middle. Nobody picks up Johnson. Brandon Ingram flies in for the rebound. Gets it back over to Johnson. Pass to Halliburton. Banquero with the rebound. Now Johnson gets it. Bancaro, that's short, and Jordan finally get possession. Quick pass, just maybe a little too hot to handle. Ingram in the open floor, lays it up and in. So that's one way you can get yourself going is run the floor, get a layup at the rim. You see the length so smooth to the basket with a great finish, Brandon Ingram. Conan. Drives in and scores. Tough make. And this undersized lineup here, or smaller lineup, has better pace. Not surprisingly, here's the middle isolation for Boncaro. Brandon Ingram from deep. Conan kind of again, bounce pass, Alduari. And steps out of bounds. Couldn't control it. So really good drop pick and roll coverage there from Buck Carroll. He played both. And you see the deflection. Good call from the officials right on top of it. So Alduari is going to sit down. Hussein comes into the game. Bancaro. Oh, that's a charge. Oh, that's a block. And for, for USA right now, it's important that they continue to stick within the system. We say system discipline. Yeah, he moved. These guys can create shots for themselves individually at any time. So one thing coaches like to say is don't break the play until we get the ball where it needs to go according to the play call. Breaking the play means just going one-on-one. -on -one. 
you'd like to see some extra passes from these players and playing together that time Bancaro drove to the basket and as there was bodies defending him he looked to kick it back out Raquan Hamouri is going to check into the game for the first time he's Bancaro second time I think in this World Cup where he's missed a couple of free throws and let's talk about focus last game High, great free throw shooting numbers. Three for six from the free throw line to start this one. There's Hart and Portis waiting for their name to be called again to go back in. So Bazai goes out. Uh, Hamuri is in the game. Hamuri number 11. There he is. So he had a little initiation into this team. Had to, they took his hair out, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, whatever it takes to make him... Uh, You're a fan of that style. Burn his stripes. Here's Hollis Jefferson getting fouled as he drives in, and his teammates go run over to pick him up. It's a good sign. Remember, Jordan trying to make it into uh, one of the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournaments. I mean, the top team from Asia that finishes will qualify directly for the Olympics, and they're actually still in contention for that. And this is something that a lot of fans in the United States aren't really aware of or don't really talk about a lot, that the, the results and the performance here at a tournament like the World Cup really helps your, you know, your national team or helps your team or hurts your team, depending on how you do. So this is a critical game for Jordan. We've got critical games with China. Uh, Japan, so the Asia region, all of these imports are really, really important. And Grim saw the Hollis Jefferson family watching the game, and nice shot from Halliburton. So again, the dribble penetration into the paint, paint touch three, high percentage shot, real rhythm shot, great job there from the United States. I would suggest that as the ball goes out of bounds, Halliburton might be the player that's enjoying himself the most at the World Cup. He plays with a smile on his face. Yeah, and he's made some really passes with enthusiasm. The no looks really got his team going here. Two three zone, last possession of the quarter for Jordan. And the buzz in the crowd with Austin Reeves has the ball. Quiet start for him. There's Cam Johnson wide open. Good. Really good teamwork there from the United States. They had second cutters Hollis. along the baseline. Oh, Hollis Jefferson, not surprisingly, almost makes a near three-quarter the length of the court shot by the buzzer. But only hits the front of the rim. USA in command, 31 to 12 against Jordan at the end of one. Thirty-one to twelve, dominant lead. Again, look at the free throw numbers. That's kind of telling for your focus and concentration. USA can play with better pace. Again, we've seen really good teamwork in the first half. Lots of extra passing, including that last corner three there from Johnson. Some of the highlight plays: Brunson doing what he does, getting into the paint for finishes. Coaches like it. This was the rim run, ball ahead, and one play for Jaron Jackson Jr. Fundamental, solid. And again, Anthony Edwards, very impressive with a team high, game high, 13 and six. And this was what you love, the steal and the drop off. Teamwork and extra passes. I guess from USA's standpoint, they're going up against the Minnows in this game, and it's the third game. And, uh, you know, how do, how do they make this work in terms of preparation for the second round? Think about that for a second. Download the, or scan in the barcode to get courtside 1891 in your smartphone, folks. Need it for the World Cup. Yeah, I, again, this can be different coverages. It can be different lineups. They can, again, use the opportunity to get a player that's trying to find his rhythm, like Brandon Ingram going. Uh, again, but you want to have the team play to their standard. And, and again, you would really emphasize the teamwork, the extra passes, and the system discipline. And then just defensive discipline, good ball pressure. These, I think, would be the things that the coaching staff are stressing. 
but what a great opportunity for players like Hamuri to be able to come out here and play against the USA. Hussein, a long two. That's good. The veteran. Halliburton into Banquero and able to get it back. Ingram. And Cam Johnson missing. The one thing I've noticed when you take Edwards off the court for the USA, as well as Bridges, especially, and you can even throw Hart in there. Well, you throw, you take those guys, those starters off as Hollis Jefferson goes in and puts it in. They don't seem to be quite as quick to the loose balls. Does that make sense? Yes. And there's a jump shot, no good. You know, and those rebounds, those rebounds aren't there with the other team, with the first team. Well, what I like about the guys that are out here right now. Oh, the bank shot for Hollis Jefferson. And Jordan closed the gap to 13. USA is playing with better pace, but credit to Jordan for the way they've attacked. Here's Austin Reeves, goes baseline. Oh, goodness. That would have brought the house down. Great split of the defenders, just couldn't finish. I think that's the first time we've seen him miss a shot. Hollis Jefferson, a long two, and he's going to get a, two free throws. Guarded by Reeves, and yeah, that's a definite foul. Got him on the left wrist. This was before. Look at that finish, Jeff. What? That was poetry in motion. The way Beautiful. he spread his legs like that. His kids up in the stands watching him today. His wife. But this is the type of inspiring effort you, you need if you're Jordan. Hollis Jefferson, your clear leader. Stepping up, not backing down. I mean, this is fantastic start to the second quarter. Get 39 against New Zealand and Rondé Hollis Jefferson now. You can look at his numbers there, 12 points. And now Banquero for the throwdown. Well, they went to that middle isolation for him, and he went to work. Nice spin and dunk. Well, that was a sweet attempt for Hamori. Rattled out. Hasn't really played much at all, Hamori. Ingram, his pass batted away. Another chance for Hollis Jefferson and Jordan. Oh. And has he hurt his leg on that drive? It didn't look good. And Wassam having hard words for Austin Reeves on that play. Not sure what happened. They could go review this, you know. Well, I didn't see anything that Austin Reeves did. His foot just came down wrong. I don't think he even stepped on anybody's foot there. Just as he planted the split between defenders, rolled his ankle. Oh, that's what it was. Ooh. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. And you can see. Wife, kids. So hopefully he's okay. No doubt he's had this type of injury in the past. And this is the first. It's kind of a weird exchange with uh, with Salman Reeves. I don't know what. <laughs> Maybe somebody said something, but clearly it was uh, Hollis Jefferson that just unfortunately kind of. I guess he rolled his ankle. Let's keep our eyes on how he's moving. He's been so such a leader for this Jordan team. Well, Johnson goes out and Portis comes in, and that means uh, and he, definitely with Portis, whenever he comes into the game, the intensity goes up. Here he is. Brandon Ingham from the right. 
Great offense from the USA. Into the paint, kick it out to the 45 consecutive pass from Halliburton. And you love to see Ingram get his rhythm. Condon. And loses his oh, handle. I mean, I, as as little contact there was, that's like an unsportsmanlike foul right there, Jeff. He, yeah, yeah, from he from came Kanan. from behind, and even though you're exactly. just swatting at him, that is just not a smart play from Conant. Oh, they might go look at it. They're going to look at it. I think this is excellent work by the officials. It's not the aggressive, physical unsportsmanlike act. It's just the fact that. By the rules, you're playing from behind. So we are going to review poten potential um, unsportsmanlike foul. Uh, no more speed, main camera, no more speed, please. Main camera, main camera. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, so. oh okay. So, for me, uh, there, this is unnecessary contact in transition. He just, he just hold from behind with the both hands. What do you think? I think it meets the criteria of number three, not unnecessary movement to, top, to stop the progress of transition. Okay. So in my opinion, we should upgrade one sportsman like foul. Okay. Foul against black 22, and we got the shooter number nine. Confirm. All right, after the review, we upgrade the uh, uh, initial decision is upgrade to the unsportsmanlike like foul. Well, we don't need to say anything about it because they explained it. It was unnecessary contact. And it kind of obviously turns it over and then complicates it. He's just got to know better, Jeff. You turn the ball over, don't complicate the situation and make it worse with an unsportsman like. Well, here's the question for you. What's happened to the USA free throw shooting today? Again, they were perfect. Yeah, it, but that was a sign in the last game against Greece that they were locked in and focused. And, you know, with all respect to Jordan, this is a game where your concentration can wane. You don't approach it, even though theoretically you want to approach it the same way every time. This is a game that can be a little bit of a letdown, so you've got to emphasize the system discipline, the execution. They're just not as sharp at this point, but they're playing hard and they're playing together. There's Reeves, steps back, puts it up, good! Wow! That might just be his most impressive three that he's hit in Rec this World Cup. Recognize the shot clock counting down and hits the big three. Amuri, he's got a good look and he knocks it down. I mean, just seeing that, I'm thinking, okay, Wassam, explain what happened in those first two games when we didn't see much of Amuri, because he looks like he can shoot it. Hollis Jefferson pulls up. Ingram to the corner. There's Halliburton. Money. So if the United States will run with spacing and get into the paint to pressure the rim, if they don't have the opportunity to finish, these kickouts are high percentage threes. They are seven for 14 compared to one for four from three for Jordan to this point. Timeout on the court. Here, but guys, we need to recover faster. We're losing our assignments quickly. Okay, come on, on defense. Now, on offense, we're gonna run. Watch me. We're gonna run. RJ, you're here. Try it. I'm already here. We got, we're gonna go 45 side. Okay, right away, Malik. You coming? We go now. I'm already coming. If it's open, fast.
Well, USA got on top early today, unlike the first two games. And the second unit maybe hasn't been quite as sharp, at least initially, and now they're picking it up. Well, every game has different matchups. And this game, you know, you're obviously concerned about Rondé Hollis Jefferson. You're concerned about Al Dwari. Al Dwari is your traditional throwback five. So Jaron Jackson Jr. has the good matchup. And what's been interesting is when the switching lineup has come in for USA with Bancaro, it hasn't been as effective or the same because you have real pick and roll coverage. He's been in a drop. Now you have Jaron Jackson Jr. back in the traditional five. He'll match up with Hussein. And a turnover. Jackson back in the game. A look. Portis. Jackson, does see what I'm talking about? If there's a rebound to be had, Jackson's going to get it. Hashem Abbas whistled for the foul. So that's a great offensive possession with pace, spacing, ball movement for the United States. I think Austin Reeves passed up an open shot, but that's an unselfish mindset. And it's also great to see Ingram penetrate through the contact there and play physical. For the USA, those are the type of possessions that you want to see. Austin Reeves to Jackson. He's just automatic inside. Yeah, they're playing together, and that's what you have to love. They're attacking closeouts. They're using their teammates. They're making the easy play. I'm sure the coaching staff's going to be really pleased. Oh. And, oh, boy, that was a good landing for Abbas because Hollis Jefferson was already on the ground. Watch this. Lands. Oh, lands on his hip. And look at Hollis Jefferson. Uh, look at Hashim Abbas. Avoids extra contact. This guy is going to need some treatment after this game. Get him the ice ice bath. Get him in the game ready. Get that Jordan physio to give him a full body massage. He has gone down with an ankle. He's gone down hard. But look at how competitive he is and how hard he's playing. Rondé Hollis Jefferson, complete respect for this guy attacking the basket here. No, no, he's no back down in him. Mikhail Bridges back in. Lead is 20 for the USA, and now Edwards is back in as well as Hart. Bridges, Brunson. Uh-oh. And he is fouled. Chip Abbas in, and it's interesting with, oh, yeah, it looked like he got hit on the arm. With uh, Wassam, I think perhaps, you know, looking at expectations and also looking at the games that are coming up, could be that we're going to see some, some of the other guys play a lot more minutes than we have been, although now he's brought back in Abu Hawass and Freddie Ibrahim. Well, for Jordan, this is a life experience for all of the people, all the players involved. Again, you're on the center stage. You're in the mainstream. So you want everyone to have a piece of it and have a good experience as best you can from it. Freddie Ibrahim gets his rebounds. is on the shot. Hollis Jefferson looks for space. He goes up, and he's fouled. He's able to get out, get to the line. You got him on the arm. Yep. 
So am I am I saying that wrong? No. So Coach Kerr wants to talk to the officials about him flopping, and I'm Jeff. There is no flopping going on. He's aggressive. He's a little bit, uh, you know, he's he's different because he's jumping forward. He maybe he's not going straight up. He scissors his feet in the lane. He's doing a lot of extra, but he's getting hit. He's getting hammered. He's earning every point, every possession right now. Uh, and again, look, Jordan had no answer to get a shot right there. They get Hollis Jefferson the ball at the top, and it's like, get us, a, get us an attempt, and he's doing it. For me, Edwards fouled him clearly on that play. Okay. That was, I wasn't sure initially, and then uh, with the follow through, you could see it definitely. He's gonna take a seat, kind of limps out of the game. Alana Jadawi has checked into the game for the first time. Hart over to Bridges. And Bridges knocks down the three. USA with their side pick and roll. Again, Brunson in the paint, kicks it out, and great teamwork for the open shot. Alana Jadawi, well, how in the world did he keep possession? Hussein left open, he puts it up, and now Edwards off and running. Quick pass, wow. look at Bridges run the floor. And you love to see Edwards, who is thinking score so much, make that beautiful pass for the easy two to Bridges. I'm very impressed with the unselfishness of this USA team in this first half. On the job way, puts it up, and that was short. And now Bridges again catches on the fly pattern but good offense. They're trying to get the pace going. Abu Hawass back outside to Hussein. This time, feet set, that's off. And again, a chance to run for Hart. Edwards to Jackson. Just great hustle. You see Brunson get into the paint, kick it out, and Hart with the extra pass. He's made so many winning plays in these recent games. But Jeff, when the United States pushes the ball in transition, they look like they are having fun. They look like they're enjoying it, playing together. And I'm, like I said, I'm impressed with the unselfishness to this point in a game where it would be easy for a guy to think like, I'm gonna go get my shots. Thirteen assists to this point in the game for the United States. Freddie Ibrahim. Ten turnovers for Jordan. Edwards pulls up on the break. And just automatic. I mean. Jeff, they didn't guard. They didn't guard Edwards. He just dribbled right up the floor unguarded. He's got 14 points. Here he is again. Pulls up. Not this time. I don't know. Jodway came out and offered a little bit of defense. Good strength from Alduari. Hollis <laughs> Jefferson coming back in for Abu Hawass.
and definitely miss some free throws today. USA have as well. Here's Brunson. Great finisher. That pass intended for Hollis Jefferson. The D and Hart was able to get the rebound. Hart for three. Anthony Edwards. He gets it into Hart, and the whistle blows and a foul. Josh Hart on the defensive end, and now offensive rebounding, basket cutting, gets to the free throw line, continues to be a really critical player for this United States team. So you're up 59, 28, 31 points, now 32. 121 to go in this first half. Good pass on a job way and a push called on Hart. Freddie Ibrahim handling a lot of ball pressure at the top, has the awareness to short action where the post player works from block to block. Nice pass. Al Najawi draws the foul. So both free throws, Anujadawi makes, and one minute to go in the first half. Aldwari guarding Jackson. Jackson just dribbles right around him and throws it down. Well, in fairness to Aldwari, he's not used to seeing a big man with that mobility, face-up game. Great play from Jaron Jackson, Jr. Great rebound, Hart. Bridges the lob! That would have brought the house down. Audacious attempt. Three-pointer is good. You're happy to see Freddie hit one. He's been so, so good for this Jordan team in these first two games. Working hard. Gets a shot to go down. Brunson. Doesn't get it to go. He lands hard, and that is the end of the first half. USA flying high. They led by Anthony Edwards on top, 62 to 33. Obviously, tougher battles ahead for the USA in the second round. But uh, looking at their performance today, Mike. Solid. You love the way they've played together. 15 assists to two turnovers in the first half for the United States. Again, 26 points in the paint and then 21 points after turnovers. They've just, uh, you know, handled themselves really well out here today. They've played together. Edwards has been really impressive, but they've gotten good contributions from many players.
Yeah, Jackson is just uh, really good. Bridges hustling. Both those guys on the defensive end. There's the USA in the tunnel. And here is the wide shot of the Mall of Asia Arena. So Jalen Brunson, our key players for today, he's got six points, three or four inside the arc, one rebound. And Hollis Jefferson, 16 points, four of eight for Jordan, seven rebounds. But obviously it's the score that matters the most. And Jordan need Hollis Jefferson just to, at times, do everything. Yeah, he's a guy that's not backing down from the, the challenge of the USA. It's been so impressive with what he's done. Again, Jordan doing their best out here today. But I think the, the best thing you can say about Jordan is the fact that the United States has put together a respectable team effort, built a nice lead, and now the second half is about the life experience here at the World Cup for these Jordan players. You want to see them, like Freddie Abraham, he struggled to get some shots to go down, he hits that last one. But respect for Jordan. They've put together a, a tough effort here today. The United States playing together, playing well. What we do know is that the USA in the next round are going to face Lithuania and Montenegro. Jordan, meanwhile, going to the classification and they will be taking on Egypt and Mexico. And, you know, it depends. Those two, two vital games for Jordan as well, just as well for the USA. But, you know, for the USA, it's all about trying to get stronger, find, continuing to improve chemistry and staying healthy. Yeah, health is the number one. That's the priority. They need players to be available and ready. They're doing a great job playing together. You love the unselfishness and the teamwork. And then it's just the experience. I think they've made an adjustment with the travels and, and things like this already. You see the players have made some improvements. I think they're really moving in the right direction. Really love what I've seen from the USA in these three games. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Rejected. Well, my goodness gracious, Renza Bondo just making a statement block there. Fournier, nowhere to go, nice defense skip, and it's a turnover, El Darwish, that's got to be his third steal, and nice run by his teammates, is Zinun. We'll keep adding on to the turnovers, and Bobner just having his way muscling through. This is turning into a pickup game. Oh, turns it over, and here comes the Sosa with the windmill. Wow, that is just a monumental moment. Tominaga, one speed, beating angles, and the block on the board. Your boy Cooks. Cooks gets it back. No one's stepping up. Sadia Cooks is in a rich vein of form. Carrying on from that really good last quarter. Gets it back and Wagner's gone. A miscue and Finland's going the other way. Marking in with the two-hand jam. That's where Giffey needs to be curved with a good hustle to try and to stop the Aaron pass in the over and back. Oh my goodness, it's easy. It's, 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 
16 feet and in, he's so tacky. He can stop, like in an instant. He can get past you. He can create different angles. He may not be the best three-point shooter in the world. and just has such a golden feel for the ball. <laughs> wow, what good basketball there by Lafia. Nice patience, Zagals attacks the defense, draws two and finds his big man. That is unbelievable. These guys will be legends in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. No surprise, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, the leading scorer for Jordan. Today, I'm not sure he's going to get 39 like he did against New Zealand, but he does have 16 points. He's 4 of 8 inside the arc and 8 of 11 at the free throw line. And perhaps more importantly, he's, uh, or in the bigger picture, he's also, you know, taking a beating a little bit, the way he's fallen and the way he's rolled his ankle once. He's been really impressive, attacking the basket, not backing down, sparked the team. Again, he's, you know, trying to elevate and make the rest of these players better. And part of it is having them believe. I think his, his example has been fantastic for Coach Wassam and the Jordan team. So 16 points, shooting 44% from the floor. He left the game kind of mid to late-ish first half and sat down and I'm wondering if Wissam Malsus is wondering how long he wants to play him today. I don't know. You got Anthony Edwards. Uh, there's just so much talent in this USA team, but you know, coming into this tournament, it felt like maybe he was going to be the man, you know, the 2023 version of 2010 Kevin Durant. And first couple of games, we didn't really see it, but today we're definitely seeing it. I mean, we did see him play well in the first two games, but Today, he's just been incredible. Jeff, it's it's trending in the right direction. It's growing. Those situations take time. I really love what I see from Edwards. He's aggressive, looking to score, but he's also been unselfish in terms of finding his teammates at the right time. The game comes so easy to him. He's so big, physical, and athletic. You know, the combination of his athleticism and skill is what makes him special. But you have to grow into that go-to guy role, especially in this team of stars. You know, these players may not have the established, you know, careers or big names yet, but what Anthony Edwards is doing, he's growing into it and very, very impressive along the way. Well, we look at Jordan coming out. What is the mindset Mike because they know they're not going to the second round they do have classification games coming up and classification games that will be important yeah you know again accept the situation and make the best of it so you know you want to try to execute your game plan you want to try to make this a life experience for all the players on the roster you know this will be maybe the one time in their lives they get a chance to play against the NBA players they watch you know online or on TV you know, this is a situation where you want to try to give everyone the experience of getting out on that floor, being a part of the game, and again, sticking within your system and competing as best you can to represent your country. So looking down the road, if you're the USA, if you are, whether it's going to be Greece or New Zealand, also in this group, whoever wins that game next, to move on to the second round with USA. You also have Lithuania Montenegro that will be playing in that next second round group, and you have to finish in the top two 
to advance to the quarterfinals. So what, how do you see those shaping up with uh, potentially Lithuania, Montenegro? Of course, Lithuania are unbeaten. They beat Montenegro. They seem to be getting stronger. New Zealand and Greece. Greece fell to the USA. They're without Dino Mitoglu, who's gone home because of uh, an injury. Uh, so they've only got 11 guys. New Zealand, actually New Zealand, probably the team that played the best against the USA, I think. To this point, um, you know, Jeff, I really think that the next round is, is like step by step. You know, these first games in this opening round have been good experience to, for the United States players to get under their belt and get some confidence. Now the next step is you're playing some established, well-coached European teams uh, that are really going to bring a good game plan and they're going to bring a, a team that can score in the post and try to control tempo and play with detail. So, you know, that will be the next step for the United States, how they handle those possessions on both ends of the floor uh, and how they handle a team that's more experienced than they are at the FIBA game. Rondé Hollis-Jefferson participating in the warm-up, so it looks like he's going to be coming back out for the second half. And some of the highlights of this Look at that. Had he made this, imagine. But Jeff, is that a highlight? He missed the dunk. Well, he was up high. Oh, oh and it, I there misunderstood was, it. I thought was it was a highlight, a, a good play. Well, there was quite a bit of light in the arena. He was up high. I understand. But but even then, we just saw it. No, it was fantastic athleticism. It wasn't athleticism. Up there for a low light. Yeah, without a doubt. No, it was fantastic <laughs> athleticism. But again, like I said, you can see the United States having fun getting out in transition and playing together. It was, uh, as you say, if he would have finished that alley-oop dunk, it would have been, been a madhouse in here, bananas. So 114 remaining, still got a lot of action all over the place. Serbia remaining unbeaten today with a, a big win over South Sudan. So South Sudan will not be progressing and Georgia winning over Venezuela. It's been disappointing for Venezuela. 0-3, Georgia, first ever World Cup. They're in the second round. Let's go down and listen to the coach. Offensively, we play five, Isaac. We play five, first off. But I want, I want. So we saw the change in the we saw the change, didn't we, in the lineup today? And one of the big question marks, scanning the barcode to get FIBA Basketball World Cup app in your smartphone. Uh, great app to have. One of the big question marks was, where's Brandon Ingram and in all this? Maybe has struggled to find his way in this USA team. Do you feel like he's, because he was in the starting lineup, he's not in the starting lineup today, but do you see any progress in that regard? I do. Uh, I think they've done a good job trying to help him find his rhythm, but. Brandon Ingram is ultimately responsible for finding his own Ingram, his own rhythm, and that is running the floor in transition, getting some offensive rebounds, trying to work to get some easy baskets by playing hard and through physicality. The FIBA game is about being strong and playing strong through physical play, and that maybe not, is not necessarily his, his strength suit. Again, this is why they made the change. Look at how active and well Josh Hart is playing. Zai over to Abu Hawass, hangs in the air, and Hart gets it back. 
Brown missing, and a foul called again on Alduari, who looks a little frustrated, thinking he's not going to have a chance to play defense against Jackson without a foul being called. The United States continues to excel in transition when they get defensive rebounds or forced turnovers. They're running the floor with pace and spacing. Again, there's a great play. Push from Hart makes the pass to Brunson, who unselfishly hits Bridges in the corner. And then you've got the offensive rebounding factor. The question is not United States in transition. The challenge will be how they play in the half court against some of these more experienced FIBA teams. A strong move. That's on the way down. Good attempt by Jackson to get the block. But you also have to love Alduari with the great back down, good footwork and balance. I bet you that shot from that point has not been blocked too many times in his career. He could potentially try to dunk that, couldn't he? Edwards into the corner. Bridges, he was fouled by Freddie Ibrahim. So again, it's Edwards pressuring the rim with a strong attacking drive. As the defense pulls in, he makes the great kick out pass to the corner. The United States continues to make high percentage unselfish plays. Well, that was a massive decision, massive trade to send Bridges and Cam Johnson to the Knicks for Durant. I mean, Durant. just watching Bridges play now, I'm just thinking he's got so much of his career ahead of him. And you already saw how well he played. I think after they did the trade. Yeah, I don't I don't think they really you They're know, certainly not second guessing that, are they? Well, they had to give something up for Durant, but they gave up a lot. Here he is. Across the midcourt. Good save from Abu Hawass. Edwards holding his left elbow. Here's Bazai. Brunson. Look at that spin. Jeff, his low post game for a point card is outstanding spins on contact and right to the rim point guards are not used to guarding that here goes Bazai and puts it up oh another miss good read by Freddie Ibrahim Oh, look at that pass to Abu Hawass. He goes up for the dunk. Hart goes up for the block. Watch this. Abu Hawass does the right thing. A lot of ball, maybe a little bit of hand on the ball, but good call from the officials, though. Considering the situation here, attacking, I think Hart went through his body. You know, after not being a factor in the first game, Abu Hawass became a big factor in the New Zealand game with the lineup down the stretch. And he's also come out here today and made an impact for Jordan. But what you like about that play is he said, I'm going hard yes. to the rim. Yes. And you have to be like that. Yes, this is outstanding for these guys. Brunson is just uh, wheeling so, and dealing. He plays at his own pace. You cannot speed him up. He's under control into the paint and makes high percentage decisions. Such a great point guard for the United States and the New York Knicks. Nice drive in. The starters now starting to find their rhythm. Here's Edwards. He's already got 18 points. He turns around. 
Oh, goodness gracious! The putback jam from Jackson. Jeff, that is a highlight right there. Tip dunk. Oh. This, there is the hustle and gets it up to Edwards. Wow. I could be wrong, but was he flying the way he <laughs> kind of hung in the air? But how about Bridges playing defense on the ball? It's always oh, look at that and the steal. Here comes Jackson. Look at him handle the basketball. Hart on the break. Oh, and that was a telegraph pass. Look at the behind the back pass. Oh, goodness. Soaring through the air. Anthony Edwards. I'm sorry, but he's having his own personal dunking contest right now, folks. And we got to give him a 10. What do you think? 10 for number 10. <laughs> 10. And go ahead and multiply it times 10. We're open. We need to take the shot. We cannot pass up shots and keep, keep playing. It's gonna get tougher. Okay. Now, that's on. That's on the uh, 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 low side. Low side. Tough time I mean here. Right there with the ball, and we go with the spin. Try to make it as high. Don't make it close to the sideline. Don't make it close to the sideline. Boom. We're going. And after that, we're gonna do this. Ready on this one. You're here. Ready here. We can pick four. Boom, and dive. be here because we had space for Sammy. Okay. The first putback dunk from Jaron Jackson Jr. off Edwards' fadeaway. Again, first highlight for the United States here. Anthony Edwards, Jeff. Well, let's just talk about Anthony Edwards and what he's done today. All he's done is score 22 points, grab eight rebounds, come I like, up with four assists. Yeah, I like the four assists. Like, if you're going to be a primary scorer, you need to be able to make your teammates better, and he's done that. Bit disappointing, though. He hasn't had a, a steal or a block. <laughs> just kidding. Proving that man can indeed fly. Here we go. And that was Bridges with yet another defensive play. Takes great joy. Here's Edwards. Oh, that is a thankless task trying to guard Anthony Edwards. Thankless. Not allowed to reach out and grab him. It looked like he grabbed him. Well, so what you saw is Abu Hawass had the hand check. And this is what was called for a foul, but you see a lot of these NBA players smacking away that hand check, and that's what the conversation's about. See, Edwards telling him right now, hey, you're hand checking me, man. That's the foul. Oh, look at that. Well read. Look at the pass. Hart to Portis, and then Portis tried to go up before he had the ball. Now Dwari going to challenge Portis. Good defense from Portis. And look at Portis run the floor. Here's Edwards missing on the baseline. 75-39. USA enjoying themselves. Hollis Jefferson. Jordan has attacked the drop well. That time, Hollis Jefferson went right into the space, stepped into his shot with confidence. Look at El Dwyer knocking it out of Portis' hands, but it goes to the USA. Bridges. Oh, what a pass to Edwards from Hart. Behind the back pass to Brunson.
two-man game, but Brunson spread it. Altuari goes for it, but Bridge is so quick. Gets the ball back. Here's Hart. And Portis with the layup. Great awareness there on both ends of the floor. Great teamwork. Subs ready to enter the game. Altuari goes up and scores over Hart. So we're going to see some substitutions for the USA. Anthony Edwards even shooting it after the whistle is blown hits the three-pointer, so that's not going to count, obviously. Interesting that Hart, once again, leading the way in rebounding for this USA team. He's got 12 boards to go with his two points. He also has three assists. Jeff, Josh Hart is an outstanding NBA player, but he would be something special in this FIBA game with his physicality, his activity, and his skill. And he is special. So that was Portis uh, with the two points. He's back out on the court now. Halliburton, walk, uh, Kessler back out uh, for the first time tonight. So look out. Those people that like to see block shots, I'm sure you'll get a couple. Uh, Brandon Ingram back out. Austin Reeves, of course. I think it's the first time, but I didn't hear like a roar from the crowd with Austin Reeves running out on the court. What's going on? Are they aware? Portis, a little jump hook. So Rondé Hollis Jefferson is out here at the four with a smaller Jordan lineup. That means he's guarding Portis. Portis will have the advantage in the low post. Now Dwari and you know, Kessler tried to block it. Now look at him hustle down the court. And he does indeed, and he beats Al Dwari back. Al Dwari was backpedaling. He knew that Kessler had gone back, but he thought he would have it covered. But that's just how good the USA are. The United States centers are doing an outstanding job running the floor today. Rim runs for easy plays. And traveling on Al Dwari. And look at Kessler. Hard to believe Kessler, as young as he is, is playing at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. So most of these players for this USA team. Abu Hawass. And a little bit of love from the rim. Shooter's touch. Freddie Ibrahim. Nice dump, and uh, Kessler goes up and throws it down. 2.13 meters in height, seven feet, inches tall, like wingspan, you name it. More unselfish play, 21st assist of the night and fourth assist of the game for Ingram. Nice behind the back pass, but Altuari doesn't score, looks over. Might have been hit in the mouth on that shot. Here. Brandon Ingram. Kessler looking for space, able to get to the free throw line. One twenty one to go in the third quarter. So Walker Kessler again, Utah Jazz. Hey. 
both free throws and now Cannon and uh, it's, a, it's a matter of when not rather if USA are going to get to 100 today to get to 120 here's Ibrahim and Kessler with the rebound This is, a this is a team that all these fans have piled into the Mall of, Are or Mall of Asia Arena to see this USA team, and they have delivered a, uh, a masterclass on you know, excitement. Within the game here, it's great for Brandon Ingram to get a good feeling and get his rhythm. He's done very well out here today. Got that nice fadeaway. Oh. Don't worry. Nothing's going to come easy for him inside. Abu Hawass with the three. One thing the USA do so well, they just play so fast. Everything yeah. they do is quick. The pace is quick very Quick to the impressive. ball, quick to the block, quick to the steal, quick to the bucket. Here's Brandon Negram, and that was short. And... He had a little bit more time than he thought. So USA still have 0.4 seconds on the game clock. How would you describe, was that a pass or a shot? How would you describe that play from Al Dwarf? Yeah, that was a shot. He thought, he didn't think there was enough time on the clock. We definitely do not need a review in this situation. If I can just suggest would you, that. Would you call that a catapult? Did he catapult the ball down the court? Could be. Propelled it. Launched it. He did launch it. 87-49. USA on top of Jordan at the end of three. So, as you look at the numbers, just domination. Perhaps with the exception of the field free throw line, but well, they they started three of their first six, and now they're up to 70 percent. So, but I love the unselfishness. 22 assists, six turnovers, high percentage from the floor. Again, if the United States continues to put in their defensive work, they can get out in transition and get that offense from their defense. This can be the difference maker that separates the United States from other teams in this tournament. This is uh, one of the plays of the game. Windmill? Yeah. From Holland? No. A windmill from Georgia. From Georgia is or right. Minnesota. And Brandon Ingram. Well, this is the first game of the day. We got Greece, New Zealand coming up. I know that the people are going to be watching that one and not just for the haka. That's going to be a hecka of a game between two teams looking to get to the second round. That's how competitive it's become in international basketball. The Greece have to win that game to get to the next round. Look at scanning the barcode to get courtside 1891 in your smartphone. And the ball goes off of, oh, must have been off of uh, Jordan. No, it was it was off the US. Off of Boston Reeves. Kind of gets it in bounds. And turnover. Now according to the FIBA rules, because it's a front court inbound, the United States will have 14 seconds to attack. Good observation. You think they know that? Yes. They're not burning up too much. 
too much time on the shot clock. Ingram misses and a foul on Hussein. So when you are at a defensive disadvantage, like these Jordan players are in several matchups, or maybe all of the matchups, it's important that you're active and get into the, your opponent early when blocking them out. You can't let them push you under the basket or play right at the rim, because that gives them that big advantage. You've got to win position. Fight for every inch. Here's Reeves. Crowd getting excited. And his pass intercepted. Good defense, that possession from Jordan. Hashim Abbas uh, gets it to Alna Jadawi, but he wasn't ready to shoot it. Hussein, open, knocks it down. Nice possession there for Jordan. Quick pass to Portis. But Jeb, you can see the Jordan players communicating, talking about a situation. They just scored a basket. They're talking back and forth in transition, and the United States is just running it right by them. Oh. Meanwhile, that looked like on the job we got all ball on that one. That was unlucky. Great pass by Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton is uh, a walking dime. That is an outstanding description. He's getting assists when he gets out of bed. I really like his shoes as well. He's got some style to oh his goodness. game. I didn't even notice. And he's got some style as a player. And he's got a smile on his face. He is the happiest USA player, I've decided. He's like the Freddie Freeman of, of uh, the USA national team. Having fun and likes to set his teammates up. Oh, don't Cannon. call that. I'm just wondering, Mike, if Mikael Bridges got the same treatment that you got yesterday since it's his birthday today. Did he get a I mean, whipped cream pie in the face? At I'm wondering, where is the pie in the face for the birthday boy, Mikael Bridges? Maybe, maybe he did get it. We don't know. They're keeping it, keeping it locked That's secret. That's in-house. That is in-house. Reeves for three. Look at him crash the boards. Yeah, great effort from Portis and Walker Kessler. Hashim Abbas thought Cannon was coming over, but the ball is deflected, so Jordan will keep it. 12 seconds on the shot clock. And Paul Jeff, Jefferson comes back. That situation, the ball finds the shooter. It gets deflected to Tyron Liu on the USA bench. T. Liu. One of the greats. Glad to see him in the USA team. Oh, Hashim Abbas. Oh, nice. Just a little bit too late. Now, you coached Poland's national team, but long before then, you worked with T. Lou, right? When you had a, a run with uh, the Celtics? I was, around, I was the head coach of the Celtics D League team at the time, G League, main Red Claws for two years. It was Doc Rivers' last season and Brad Stevens' first season. And Tyron Lou. Threes for three. Another three from Australia. Tyron Lou was an assistant coach working his way up at the time. Wow. Great personality, really good with players. A lot of fun to be around. Wonderful. Good rebound on the job way. There's Hashim Abbas. Oh, it gets rejected. Kessler. Boy, his ceiling is pretty high, isn't it? What he's going to do. Portis. And the follow from Reeves. What a, propulsion. What an athletic play. Walking on air. Who knew? Well, something tells me that will be a highlight, and we're going to see it again. Jordan called timeout. Like, hash, when that pass happened, you need to shoot it. You're not getting about it, that guy. Come on, just a, throw, it, throw it, and we go. Yeah. 
We can, we can do this, guys. Some, some mistakes, we can do it. Keep playing, keep playing. Remember that we're playing for the points too, okay? We don't want to like lose bad. Come on. Now, next offense, I want to do this. We're going to go, uh, uh, we're going to go Kings. Kings, RJ, you here? Shahe, you here? Well, we've seen a couple of blocks. And this is Mr. Elevation. We've got so many different names we can give him. But again, look at him change hands with the skill and touch. Fantastic. You know, Wessam had an outstanding time out there. He's trying to say, hey, guys, this isn't going to work against these players. You know, you, you got to make the simple play. Shoot what him when you're open. The, the behind the back passes today. Yeah, I, I love what Ibrahim has doing. You know, he hasn't finished a lot of plays or hit a lot of shots. But again, these players are not backing down. And this is, again, the life experience for them to be out here ready to play. This just in, Mike. Mikhail Bridges, the birthday boy, did receive a birthday cake. But now, he's only allowed to eat it after the game. But this is, it's not just a cake, Jeff. It's the pie to the face is the key. I don't That's, think. Well, I maybe he will get the cake to the face. I hope they do. <laughs> Hashem Abbas and Reeves collide. But you, you love this. I'm sorry, Jeff. You love this about Reeves. You know, he's really active and aggressive offensively, but he gives up his body taking the charge here, inspiring to his teammates. For three, we're bringing a little bit of rain. Kessler, look at him battle for the rebound, goes out of bounds. And the one thing about a player, the size and length of Kessler, he's a big target on those dives and rolls to the rim. Johnson! Oh, he gets blocked by Cannon. Didn't see him coming. Two seconds on the shot clock here. Good defense from Cannon. Beautiful pass from Reeves. Nice baseline cut from Johnson. Pump fake. And there is a three attempt. I'm glad to see this young man back in the game. Now Murray can shoot it, and he's going to show it right here. Oh, just a little bit short. Right on line. Thought it was going to make me look smart. <laughs> he definitely looks good, though. Reeves has it knocked out of his hands by Hollis Jefferson. Crosses midcourt. Here he goes. Now Murray, don't let me down. Oh, he does again. I thought he was going to make it. He's got definitely it. got a good looking shot, though. Here it is, the alley oop. Oh, Cam Johnson trying to get it to Kessler. Hollis Jefferson, and ball knocked out of Kessler's hands, so the USA get it back. So looking at these numbers here, and another turnover, getting a little bit sloppy here late yeah. in the game. Hollis Jefferson. USA has numbers. Banquero. And the shot is good from Hollis Jefferson. And this is a very good timeout by Coach Kerr. He sees the game get a little sloppy, a little bit less effort in certain areas. How does that seep into your overall game, like your tournament, if you let something like that go? Or, or why, yeah. why do you want to? You want to make sure you play every possession and maximize every possession. 
you know, again, there's no expectations that Jordan's going to come back and win. You've got to play to your standard, not play down to the level of your opponent. So there's always something that, team, that the USA can work on. They can work on some execution. Look at the energy tracker for the USA. Pretty much everybody right around 18, 19 minutes, 20 minutes. Edwards has played the most. Uh, 20 minutes, Bridges 18, Hart 18, Jackson 16. Here's Jordan, and well, you can't look at Jordan play a game without having some Hollis Jefferson highlights. Yeah, he's been really impressive again. He may not have the heroic shot or big numbers, but the way he's attacked and the way he's led this team have been very impressive. So here are his numbers, 20 points, seven rebounds, three assists. But you know, he belongs on the court with these NBA players. You know, there's, it's not like there's a disadvantage there. He's playing to his strengths and playing with confidence and belief. Oh, nice pass. Again, with the, you know, he's a walking dime. He is, the no look. They ran their top double drag action. Great dive from Van Carroll, and again, another. The, the thing about Halliburton is his assists are just of the spectacular variety every single time. Yeah, the no-look variety. He's fun to watch. Hannon, long shot from deep. And the alley-oop and the tap from Portis. Another dime for Halliburton. He might get double digits and dimes by the end of this game. Hollis Jefferson. I would not put it past him. And the same with the rebound. On the job, we nice play. Alna uh, Zadawi with his first bucket. No, second bucket, excuse me. I got to be honest, I thought they would have had 100 by now. Yeah, they kind of lost their uh, momentum a little bit. Give credit to Jordan. Walker Kessler checking in for Reeves. Banquero gets the first one to go. Take another one, 99. This should get him to 100. What has this exercise been like for Jordan now that we approach the end of this game? I mean, it's as expected. You like the fact that your team has played hard. You've gotten everybody into the game. Just good experience in general. Kessler comes up, forces the turnover, gets it, hands it. Oh, nice teamwork. Goes up. Cam Johnson gives it right back. Kind of gets blocked. And you can see that's Halliburton just hitting the ball to Portis. And the USA going up, giving the crowd a thrill. The alley -oop jam. They've got 104.
Yeah. He, he's uh, right. when Sam Malthus is talking about Portis hanging on the rim or shaking it. Possibly. I, it looked like there was a discussion if they really wanted this timeout or not. Okay, let's go down and listen. So you saw that points tracker, and here is see what was. It wasn't on this dunk, was it? No, it was the second one. That was the that was tap. Tip. So I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, what we can talk about is outstanding teamwork from the United States here. Yeah, I mean. They're passing to each other. They're looking for each other. And as you said, Halliburton, when certain players play, they look to score. Halliburton looks for his teammates for a pass. Freddie misses. Banquero. Portis not able to save it. Kessler has three blocks in just under 10 minutes. But we haven't seen that big rejection that we're used to. You want him to punch it into row H. Yes, I do. Row H. Why you didn't you? Message. Why didn't you say row K for Kessler? That's maybe what we're missing. Maybe that's what I need to hope for. Then he'll do it. Or row W for Walker. Alhar Marche taken out of his hands. Here it is. Look at the dime. Oh, can that's going to cost him double digits. Six and points, six assists. And for Jeff, Albert. Jeff, as a former Tar Heel alum. You ex Wanted. have higher expectations for a Tar Heel, Cam, Cam Johnson. Johnson. I actually put UNC on a page here and held it up for Cam. And he liked it. He, he gave liked me the it. Nod. Let's see if we can get him an easy one here in the last minute 43. I want to see a Halliburton pass. Here you go. Ooh. And Johnson this time deciding to take matters into his own hands, so he will get to the line. It's going to be interesting to watch how this U.S. team evolves as this tournament goes along. And Yeah, for me, teams are going to try to control the tempo against them and they're going to try to keep him in the half court. The challenge is going to be their half court execution and against these experienced FIBA teams, can they create offense from their defense as easily as they have in these first three games? Haven't they already, though, played the team, the ultimate team that tries to control tempo in Greece? And With, they've pretty much uh, controlled it. But the difference is Greece doesn't have the low post scores that some of these other teams will have. And look at Johnson, the banquero. Oh, he faked the pass and he goes in for the tuck. That was a good play from Paolo Banquero. Walker Kessler going for another block. There's Portis going behind his back. Sammy to Freddie with a little runner. I'm happy to see that. Ibrahim's been so good for this team. He really has. We've only got 38 seconds left in the game. Port Portis fouled from behind. You 
know, Jeff, I used to have a rule with my teams that I've coached. If we ever got up by 60, I would sit down. And the USA has a chance to get up by 40 right now. So the thought being, if you get up by 60, you let the players do whatever they want. It happened one time. Did it? Yeah. Against two. Against Würzburg in Germany. Oh. That was when you were coaching Ulm or Hamburg? Rasha Farm Ulm. Oh, and there is Al Dwyer going in for the dunk. So time for one more play, and USA going to hold it up, and then they'll just give it back. So convincing victory for the USA. No surprise there. They've come out and had a good run against Jordan. Overmatched, but still, I don't look at this in a negative light for Jordan, who will go into the classifications. Class classification round with still a lot to play for. So Wasin al goes over and shakes the hand of Steve Kerr. And there is uh, the look. 110 to 62. USA win it over Jordan. They go into the second round unbeaten. That's a nice angle there. Guys shaking hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Anthony Edwards uh, kind of really was the guy that set the tone today. Had the big numbers. He'll probably end up being the player of the game. But Brandon Ingram. Seven points, five assists. Step forward for him, I take it. Definitely. You know, this is a, a positive use of this game to get some guys some rhythm, get them feeling good. And again, what I love is 29 assists for the United States. Really good teamwork. USA, 56 points in the paint. Shooting a high percentage. 32 to 10 fast break points for the USA. Nice moments for Hollis Jefferson hugging the USA players. Obviously, Hales from the US, naturalized player, used to play in the NBA with and against these guys. And uh, now giving his best for this Jordan team, which has had a, you know, they're 0 they're, they have to be the best 0 3 team at the World Cup, in my opinion. They've played really well, and they were so close to winning that New Zealand game. Uh, but again, the uh, tournament is very interesting. You have games you can win. You have games where you're the clear underdog, games where you're the favorite. I really like what I've seen from Jordan. And also, you know, Jeff, I like what I've seen from the USA. So look at the numbers there. USA, imperious, just too much for Jordan today. Assists, rebounds. Jordan with 23 turnovers. <laughs> Steve Kerr getting a lot of uh, suggestions, uh, requests to take selfies with the Jordan coaching staff and players as he walks off the court. So that's this game, and it finishes been played in a good spirit. <laughs> Fourth quarter, best plays, Mike. But there was more for this in this quarter for Jordan than in the previous three. Yeah, you like the way they played. They again, it's a life experience for these guys to play against these players. Nice shot here from Hussein. <laughs> Again, Walker Kessler triggering a fast break, and this was where things started to get really great for the United States. Anthony Edwards, indeed the player of the game as well. We won't see any highlights of him in the fourth quarter because he was already, already substituted out. There he is cheering his teammates on though from the stands.
Kind of uh, burying that bomb deep three right there. You really and, like what Wassam has done this tournament. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And let's see if they can build on that. I mean, you know, the true test now will come for them as they go up against the teams from Group D, Egypt and Mexico. If they get two wins, you don't know. I mean, but the problem that they'll have is that Japan also already have a win in terms of the race for the direct qualification for the Olympics from Asia. Although you've also got Australia. We can talk about that later, but they're from Oceania. What's really interesting here, Jeff, are all the storylines on multiple levels, not just trying to win the championship of the World Cup and finish atop the, the different regions the qualifications for the Olympics. Uh, you know, th there's so many different levels to this tournament, which are really interesting for fans to, to take a look at. Jeff, lots of motivation for all of these upcoming games. So 110-62 USA went over Jordan. They are already assured of uh, first place. And Greece now will take on New Zealand in that all-important battle for a spot in the second round. That will tip off at 8.40 local time. USA came in at 2-0, and there was no doubt they were going to 3-0 early on. Anthony Edwards having uh, his best game of this FIBA Basketball World Cup so far. Jordan played hard. Now they got to get ready for the classifications. USA still in the title hunt. 